Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a video a little bit different to what I usually do. As you'll see from the title of this video, this is just a, a little description of my life with Charcot-Marie Tooth Disease, or as I will be referring to it from here on after, CMT. I got diagnosed with CMT this year in February, when I was 23, I'm now 24, and I've known that I've had something going on since I was pretty much born. But anyway, the reason I'm making this video is because I feel I didn't really have a lot of, of anyone to talk to or you know, any kind of information to go on. I came out of a neurologist's office and that was it. I had CMT. So I just wanted to make a little more of a lighthearted video because I think a lot of the videos that are out there right now are kind of depressing. You know, they've got that music on, the piano heartfelt bullshit, basically. And I just wanted to make a video for the everyman because it's it's a pretty common disease. I think it's 1 in 25,000 people ha has this disease, although it's it's not widely known or talked about. And I just wanted to give you guys some information about it and, and ha have a chat, because why not, you know? So we'll start off with with what Charcot-Marie Tooth Disease is. And it's a form of peripheral neuropathy, as far as I'm aware, which is so much fun to say and tell people when they ask you, and even more fun to spell on all the forms you have to fill in when it comes to disability and all that business. But it affects your nervous system, basically, and it gives you a great loss of sensitivity in your feet, your hands, your arms, and your legs especially below the sort of the knee area and everything else. Now I'm going to talk about my experience with CMT. Everybody differs greatly. You know, there are many different symptoms. Some people have next to none. You know, it can affect you very lightly or it can affect you a lot, which for me, it, it really does. So me personally, I've had balance problems since I was a little baby. I didn't learn to walk till I was two. And my parents realized something obviously wasn't quite right. So I started seeing a physiotherapist at a very young age. And as far as they were concerned, it was just balance problems. But as if you have been diagnosed with CMT yourself, you probably know, puberty is when it really hits you. It, it, it'll either get really bad, sort of 12, 13, 14 there, or you'll probably not experience it till a lot later in your life, from what I've seen and from people I've talked to in my life anyway. But it was around 13 when it really hit me. My feet are, as with most people with CMT, the worst part. They're really highly arched, kind of like an eagle's claw, you could say, and my toes are really curled and all that sort of stuff. So that is, that's my big thing because I personally struggle with walking really badly. I'm on crutches pretty much the whole time, uh, even around the house, I would say, for, for the most part. But when I go out, I'm in a wheelchair now. And this wasn't the case even a year ago. It is a progressive disease. That isn't to say that if you get diagnosed with it and you're walking around all fine the next year, you're going to be in a wheelchair. That's not how it works. But for me personally, it's progressed really badly. So I say my, my feet are the main thing and the pain that comes along with that is really bad as well. But I recently have finally got some good painkillers. I personally take Tramadol. I don't know if there's a different name for that in America. If there is, let me know in the comments. Um, but that's my main my main go-to and they're really good. I know you're not, you're not supposed to take these all the time but for me they are just fantastic. So I take that and I take something else called naproxen which is like ibuprofen. Again I don't know if there's a different name for this in America. Apologies if there is. But for me they work great so if you're looking for something that doesn't make you feel queasy I would recommend that. But for everybody it's different. I used to take codeine and I've taken Acupan. And uh, codeine made me really sick, but it is very, very effective. But for me, I just couldn't do it. I couldn't function on codeine. The same went for Acupan. It didn't make me as sick, but I couldn't really get out of the house. I was just feeling too ill. And with Tramadol, for the first two weeks, it really did make me feel quite high, we'll say. To, for, to say the least, it made me high as balls. Um, but it's great. And uh, eventually, you do. I'm used to it now. I've been taking it just over a month. Uh, and I'm... You know, I've taken, I'm, right now I've, I've taken some, and I'm not high, I'm absolutely fine, and it really does help me. But we'll move on to some other symptoms of it. Anyway, for me, again, it, hands is a really serious uh, problem with CMT. And for me, I actually play guitar, and I have for 14 years now. And I remember when I told my neurologist this, she couldn't believe it, because your hands are something which are, I mean, you can see my hands are really thin and bony, and I do not have a lot of muscle in them. And actually, I didn't realize this was a problem until I went to a doctor two years ago and he said, well, have you ever had problems with your hands? And I said to him, well, I mean, I play guitar, but I've noticed I can't open bottles, so, like, super easy. And he, was, he looked at them and he was like, well, you do have the muscle density of a 50-year-old man, so maybe that's the problem. So that was a nice realization. But yeah, I've noticed, especially recently with everything sort of getting worse, because CMT is a progressive disease, that I really struggle to open bottles. I struggle with keys, buttons on clothes are an absolute nightmare. 
even just popping my uh, my tablets out of these things is a fucking hassle. But you can actually buy things to help with that. That is something that I found. There are websites. There is actually a Chalk and Marie Tooth Foundation, which I'm a member of now. And they have a store with so many helpful things for keys, for tablets, for, you know, even just doing it buttons. There's all sorts of things you can get, and I'll put a link down in the description for that too. But anyway, on to more symptoms of this sort of thing. I recently have been getting really bad thigh pain. And like really bad and that is actually a symptom when you're younger is really bad growing pains and I used to get out of school quite often and I wish I could say that it was just me trying to skive off but I used to get really bad muscle and thigh pain and it turned out that is a, a symptom I didn't realize until reading up on it of CMT and it started to come back recently but the naproxen that it takes really starting to help with that. Another thing to consider with CMT is in my experience you got to be really careful with your knees I have dislocated my left knee four times and my right knee once. Now with my right knee it popped out, popped straight back in, not a big deal, couple of weeks chilling, which is my life anyway, and then I was back on my feet but my left knee, twice it popped out and I had to go back to the hospital to get it popped back in there and that was painful times, let me tell you. So that's something you've got to be really careful with because dislocations are really common with CMT so don't be twisting your knee any way you shouldn't. Don't try and run man, don't, you know, Fair enough, you can still be active, but you got to be careful with stuff like that. See a physiotherapist, get them to show you how to exercise if, if you're there, because weight is a big deal as well, because you're sitting down pretty much the whole time. You know, it, it's hard to, to stay slim. You can still stay handsome like me, but you've got to be, you got to try and keep a little bit active, because it's so easy just to while the day away doing absolutely nothing. So be, but be careful of those knees guys because let me tell you a dislocation is agony. There is currently no cure for CMT that I know of and uh, although there are clinical trials going on all the time it doesn't mean it's going to amount to anything but there are still surgical options. When I dislocated my knee I had to have a cast on and for about two years between 18 and 20 I just could not walk. I had a zimmer frame because if you have balance issues using just crutches when you literally can't put weight on a leg is basically impossible so I was lucky enough to have a beautiful zimmer frame and I didn't don the flat cap and you know a big cardigan and stuff like that but it was pretty it was a hard time because people are again as I've mentioned earlier dicks so yeah I couldn't walk for two years and I was lucky enough to have surgery on my foot and I had three operations at once it was apparently quite a common operation for CMT is to take a triangular chunk of bone out your foot and then smush your foot back together because that takes some of the arch where it makes it slightly easier to walk on and a tendon lengthening I believe was the other one I don't know and I don't even know what the third one was but I have another scar so there must have been something there and, and that got me back on my feet to an extent and at the time it wasn't as bad as it is now and I could sort of get out a bit more. There are still other surgical options I recently was offered nine different operations on my right foot to try and do something but the problem for me is your ankle joint basically is two things like that but my one on my right one is over here when it should be there and they said that all the operations they were going to do to my foot would rely on that ankle joint not uh, fucking itself basically and that is exactly what did happen is my ankle has gotten much worse and if I had taken those operations and had 10 months of agony and recovery and physiotherapy they would kind of have been wasted. The operation I had on my left foot has actually pretty almost gone back to itself because people with CMT their feet aren't like this, they are on their sides and my left foot was basically stuck in that position and the operation helped to flatten it out but as time goes by it's starting to rotate back over to that way so don't say no to surgery because it can make a great difference in your life there's back surgery you can get because uh, kyphosis is another big deal with CMT that can help straighten out your back if you're in a lot of pain that's something I haven't done personally because that is, can be a risky operation and obviously there are many feet and uh, lower leg operations and stuff like that you can get and, and you've got to do what's best for you, you know, but make sure you read up on it, make sure you talk to proper professional people. I talk to your friends and family too, because they can help you out, but just remember this, your parents are going to want you to get better, your friends are going to want you to get better, and my dad certainly, thankfully for my first operation, because I couldn't walk at all, forced me into that, I didn't want to do it, I was just depressed and miserable, and I was like, this is my life now, I'm in this chair, there's nothing I can do about it, but he pushed me to do it when I lived with him at the time, and I'm glad he did because it got me back on my feet. But this, these operations that, that I could have had recently, I, I knew they wouldn't help, but your friends and your family are going to be like, well, you should do it though because it's going to make you better, and they want you to just be this normal, I fucking hate using that word, person who can get out and do all these great things, but you have to remember that CMT is, unfortunately, for life, but you just got to fucking own it, man. You just got to do you, do you and just do everything you can. So don't necessarily have surgery just because your friends and your family want you to get better. Really do have a good think about it. But I mean, th there's there's so much things. Another thing that I've only just realized recently, and I have my PC here because all these words, it's called proprioception. 
and that apparently is our ability to tell where our body is in space. And apparently that is, if you're, like for me personally, when I stand at the side of a road, if a bus goes past or a car really close, I feel like I'm going to faint or like fall over and I'm really dizzy. And that is this pro proprioception. And that is part of CMT. And that for me is a big deal because standing at the side of a road and feeling really dizzy and like you're going to pass out is probably not ideal. But I mean, the thing is, for me, I've realised this past year especially, you just got to live your life, man. Like, fucking enjoy it. Now I know in five, ten years time, I'm gonna be in a wheelchair all the time, but so fucking what, man? Like, you've just got to learn to do stuff you enjoy to do. I mean, I play guitar, fair enough, that may one day be impossible for me with my hands, but right now, I love it, and I really do enjoy it. I mean, I play, I'm a gamer, this, I'm sitting in front of my gaming PC right now, I can enjoy that, you know, although I have really bad back pain from CMT as well, I have got this chair specially made for me, and I just bumped into my lamp with it, and it is fantastic, it's got inflatable lumbar support, all that stuff, there is a lot of help you can get. Certainly in England anyway, I imagine in America it's a lot harder, but if you have insurance, I imagine. You can get a lot of help for this. You know, there are people out there, there are societies you can join, where you can talk to other people with CMT. There are videos like this on YouTube, I'm not the only one making this stuff. You know, if you have any questions, message me, I'm on Twitter, and I'll put them here. So this is my Twitter, I'm on Instagram, and I do have a Facebook page, and although it's my music one, feel free to message me there as well if you want to talk about it, or you have any questions, because I have read, like, every single web page on this, Saying that, I've probably made some mistakes that people will correct me on. I don't know. But you just gotta live your life. You know, I have great friends and, and great family and a fantastic girlfriend who cares for me and helps me with all the stuff I can't do. And if you can, get, even if you haven't got people in your life who can help you like that, you can still enjoy it. You can still get out there. You can still meet new people. I struggle to travel, but I've managed to travel. I, you know, I managed to do, I managed to go out. I managed to go to gigs as long as they have seating. And if you have CMT, I'm sure you know what that's like trying to find a gig and making sure they have seats for you because not every gig venue is at all disability friendly. But you'll find ones that are and you'll be able to get to these gigs and you'll have a good time. You'll be able to get out and do what you want. There are adaptions that can be made pretty much everywhere. So don't feel that you just have to stay in the house or you have to stay in bed and you have to be the shut in man. Live your life. Go out and do what you want to do. Be with your friends. Be, you know, with your partner or whatever. If, if your partner I have actually been in a relationship where a girlfriend broke up with me because of my disability, because I couldn't trail around the shops for hours, and I couldn't, you know, go clubbing or anything like that. Thank God, because I fucking hate clubbing. But she broke up with me, and that put me into a pretty deep depression. I was in therapy and all sorts because of somebody not wanting to be with me for something I couldn't change. But you realise eventually people like that are dicks. So you just gotta move on, man. You gotta live your life. But anyway, I hope this video has been helpful to you. I pretty much just rambled on about nothing. I haven't given a lot of straight up facts because I wanted this just to be a rambling video. But I hope it's been of some help. And like I say, if you have any questions, hit me up on my social networks. And I will happily talk to you all day long about CMT because I don't know a great deal of people who have this condition. And it would be great to get out there and speak to a few more. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you're interested, do subscribe. I'm going to be posting other videos like this if, if this one goes down well. Talking about my general life with CMT and other things. And also, I'm a musician, so if you're into some chilled acoustic vibes, I do post videos like that up on here too. But yeah, thanks guys. See you later.